Can a Democrat win in Texas in a statewide election? Let's find out. Uh, we're gonna talk to Rochelle Garza. She's running as Democratic nominee for Texas Attorney General against Ken Paxton. It's a giant race. Rochelle, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me on. And yes, we can absolutely win in Texas. All right, well, let's talk about how. Uh, so you're actually doing the best in polling of any of the Democratic candidates running for statewide office. So that's uh, incredible, it's encouraging. I'm a progressive, so I'm down with it. Uh, so let's figure out uh, the issues there and how and why that's happening. So number one, what do you think? Why are you doing better than the other Democrats in, in Texas? Well, I think there are a lot of reasons, but first and foremost, there are a lot of Texans that see themselves in me and in this campaign. I am a fifth generation Tejana from South Texas, from the border region, from the Rio Grande Valley. I'm a mother to a seven month old. I'm a civil rights attorney, a working person. I know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck and to have student debt, a lot of student debt. and. People see themselves in my campaign because of those things. And they know that I am here to do the job of the Attorney General, to be the people's lawyer, to fight for consumers, to fight for voting rights, for all of our civil rights, for reproductive rights. Um, and that's what's at stake right now in this election because we've got an Attorney General who is more concerned with staying out of prison than he is about serving the interests of Texans. He's been under a criminal indictment for seven years without trial. And he's under investigation by the FBI for, for bribery. And not to mention, he tried to overturn the 2020 election. So Texans do not want to continue with someone like that in office. And they are looking at, at me and this campaign and are ready for a change in November. So I've always wondered about that. Um, I mean, look, let's just note for the record that we live now in a country where being a criminal is considered not a big deal. Oh, oh, he's indicted. Uh, he's the FBI thinks he's a crook. The Republicans are going to vote for him anyway. <laughs> like they, they, like in the old days, that would have ended your career in a second. Now, uh, their politicians being crooks is considered super normal for them. But anyways, uh, why seven years? Why, why haven't they done anything about it? That, that's what's driving me crazy. Yeah, I mean, he was, Ken Paxton was indicted for securities fraud back in 2015 for specifically tricking his own clients into bad investments that benefited him. And he hasn't answered for that because of his position, because he is the Attorney General of Texas, he is the chief legal officer of this state. And that, that yields him a lot of power. Uh, so he's been able to avoid his trial and he has abused this office and, and the power of this office. Um, you know, there's been a lot of reporting coming out about how in disarray the office is. Uh, you're having um, individuals unfortunately being shown child pornography in the office. You're having them lose victims of human trafficking and letting go of, of a trafficking ring. Uh, because not only is he someone who doesn't believe the law applies to him, but he is just a failure at, at his job. No, it's amazing. Uh, the Attorney General job is supposed to be to enforce the law. And now we literally have Republicans running that are wanted criminals that are trying to become Attorney General so they could avoid the law. That's amazing, that's amazing. And by the way, they had a primary. They could have picked another Republican. The Republicans were like, no, no, we like the criminal. The one that was robbing everybody to his own clients, that's the guy we want. I hope to God there's enough independence in, in, in Texas to make a, ch a change on this. I mean, on that alone, this race should be over. It's unbelievable. Okay, so yes. you on the other hand have an entire legal principle named after you. I mean, your accomplishments are amazing. We'll get back to that in a second. But another question that I had is, so if, if let's say Greg Abbott wins the governorship, right? And let's say the Republicans keep the lieutenant governor, etc. But you're the attorney general. Those are two different parties, and and so Abbott says, no, I want to continue the anti-LGBTQ, uh, uh, you know, laws. I want to continue the uh, anti-choice laws and the busing, etc. What can you do as attorney general? There's a whole lot I can do. I've described this position as the queen on the chessboard. It, it, it wields so much power because it is an independent 
constitutional position. So as attorney general, I, I don't have to answer to Governor Abbott. Uh, I don't have to answer to this extreme legislature. I am meant to be a check on on these bad actions that we are seeing. Uh, right now, we are hearing that the state legislature is considering banning travel out of the state for people who need access to an abortion. That's unconstitutional. It, it is violating our constitutional right to travel. No one is a prisoner in their own state. And I could issue a legal opinion saying, this is not constitutional and it would have the effect of binding the agencies of the state of Texas. It wouldn't have the effect of law, but it would have an important check to that power and making sure that you know, we, we follow the constitution and that we do not uh, enforce uh, an unconstitutional law like banning the right to travel. So um, there's so much more to talk about in Texas. and. and uh, but I want to make sure people have your website. So we'll have the links down below if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook. But what's the website, Rochelle? It's RochelleGarzaForTexas.com. Okay, RochelleGarzaForTexas.com. That's how you can help. And um, you can, yeah, you can go to my website and um, you know sign up. We're we're in the final stretch, but every dollar counts. Um, every tweet share accounts. Uh, we need to make sure that we communicate with people across the state of Texas and also stress how important this race is, not just to Texans, but to the rest of the country. And, and that's because what happens in Texas doesn't stay in Texas. And if Ken Paxson were to remain in office, he could attack all of our beloved civil rights, the right to marry who we love. He has said that he would challenge marriage equality and he can do that because he's got the courts on his side. He can pick whatever court he wants in Texas, take it to the Fifth Circuit, which is the most conservative circuit court in the country and take it up to the Supreme Court where he has all of the votes that he needs to do to, to change the law in a way that is harmful for all of us. So I mean, look, you might be able to stop the busing alone. So. I, there's so many other issues and the attorney general position is so important. Uh, but on that alone, uh, uh, people uh, across the country probably would wanna help. Um, so let, let's talk about other things that are uh, very important in Texas, like the power grid. So the power grid was a disaster. They basically privatized it, uh, wound up killing people when it didn't work when they needed it. So what could the attorney general do about that? So. What happened with the power grid failure was just absolutely devastating for Texans. Not only did people experience financial ruin at the time, they experienced price gouging, and we are all paying for it at this moment. Um, the power companies put their losses onto Texas consumers. And so we're now currently seeing electric bills that are just exorbitant. I haven't been to a single city in Texas where I haven't heard someone say, my, my energy costs are more than my car note. So uh, the attorney general should have done something at the time. My position is that we can use the power of the consumer protection unit and have accountability for these price gougers and make sure that Texans aren't taken advantage of. So, so you grew up in South Texas, uh, your parents weren't anywhere near rich and, and you've already accomplished a lot. Um, so the legal principle I was talking about earlier is the Garza notice. Uh, so what is the Garza notice named after you? So yeah, in uh, in 2017, I was in private practice and uh, I before that I had started taking cases for teens that needed access to abortion care in Texas. They had to go through what's called a parental consent law. Um, you know, and I also handled a lot of immigration cases for for children fleeing violence from Central America. So I was very familiar with with several areas of law that this uh, coincided with. I represented a young teen, Jane Doe, who needed access to abortion care in the state of Texas and was denied that care by the Trump administration. Um, she was essentially held prisoner and against her will and not allowed to exercise her, her choice. Ken Paxson tried to involve himself. Brett Kavanaugh was on the appellate court at the time and made a decision that would have forced my client to have a child against her will. Uh, and we beat back Trump, Kavanaugh and Paxton. And we won the right for her to make her decision. Uh, so, so Jane was able to exercise her rights, but we went even further. And the Garza notice is a result of my work on that case. 
Uh, every single teen in immigration detention today is given the notice that they have a right to access abortion care. But more than that, they are actually moved to a state where they can enact their abortion decision. So it holds even now, even in these dark times where abortion has been completely banned in the state of Texas. So you're incredibly accomplished at a young age. You are in the best shape to win. Now I fear asking this question. This is exactly when the Democratic Party should come in and provide funding so you can get over the top. Have they? I mean, look, we have worked really hard. I I didn't tell you this, but I was pregnant through most of my, my primary. I gave birth after the, the March 1st primary and then won a runoff by over 25 points. I'm a fighter. I know what we need to do to fight for what we need in the state of Texas. I have a daughter now. I want to make sure that she has more rights than I did. And I do not want her to grow up in a place where I am afraid to send her to school. So this fight is in me and I have worked very, very hard and, and have brought a lot of people to my side and we are doing everything that we can to make sure we are competitive. We are on TV, we're on digital, we're, uh, we're blasting Ken Paxson because we need to let people know how dangerous he is for Texas. So we are doing all of those things and I am grateful for the support that I've been able to bring in from our partner organizations across the state. There is a very real air of change in Texas. There are so many grassroots organizations that are coming up, that are fighting, that are that are you know putting up ads and posters and billboards for me and block walking and text banking and phone banking and doing all of the things that we need to get done so that we secure a win in November. And we're gonna do it. It's going to be a Latina from the border that is going to change Texas, that is going to flip this seat. So that is one very tough person running in a tough state and doing great. Uh, I know the answer, by the way, the Democratic Party has not helped much. So that's why I tell you, Rochelle Garza for Texas.com. Uh, the links will be below. Uh, make sure uh, that you at least check it out. Give everybody an opportunity here. Rochelle, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.